The topic of this video is expressing real numbers using intervals, inequalities, and graphs. Intervals, inequalities, and graphs are three different ways of communicating a collection of an infinite quantity of numbers to another person. An interval consists of two values separated by a comma with parentheses and or brackets before and after those values in various combinations. An inequality is a statement that makes a comparison between the variable x and one or more values such as a and b. When seen in a problem, they would be numbers like 4 or negative 5. A number line graph is another way of communicating a collection of numbers. The shaded region of the graph indicates the numbers that are being communicated. The table that you are looking at right now shows the different ways of expressing intervals, inequalities, and graphs, and how they relate to one another. For example, let's say we were interested in all of the numbers that were between 3 and 7, including 3 and including 7. And let me be very specific. When I say all of the numbers between 3 and 7, I mean all of the decimals and fraction numbers as well. So for example, 3, 3.1, 3.14, pi. Fractions could also be included, such as 7 halves. You can even have irrational numbers. For example, between 3 and 7, you would probably find the number the square root of 14. Please pause this video now and take a look at all of the different ways that numbers can be communicated by thoroughly analyzing this table. Okay, now that you've had a chance to explore the different ways of communicating intervals, inequalities, and graphs, let's look at some facts. First of all, each of these is a way of collecting an infinite quantity of numbers and there are an infinite number of real numbers between any two different real numbers. When writing an interval, we must write the smallest number on the left and the largest number on the right separated by a comma. For example, you would write negative two comma six and not six comma negative two. Parentheses and brackets mean different things on both an interval and a number line. Parentheses are used to exclude a number, where brackets are used to include a number. And finally, whenever we write parentheses around infinity and negative infinity, what we are indicating is that infinity is a number that cannot be reached and therefore cannot be concluded. Said another way, negative infinity and infinity always get parentheses in an interval.